what's on it's your girl christy and in today's episode we're gonna talk about what figures we have pre-ordered with prime one studio today or figures we at least want to get with prime one studio there's quite a few so stay tuned for the video the first one we're gonna go over is the prime one studio one six scale tara from final fantasy 6 this statue is absolutely gorgeous beautiful breathtaking angelic luxurious it's just too many words to express how gorgeous this one piece is i've never seen so much detail put into one statue before i've been looking at promo studio for a little while now and i know this is to me the best looking statue they probably have ever done of course this distributor with this is also square enix so i know the price is going to be kind of up there but i just know this is just too good it's just too, too nice, too beautiful. And Tara is absolutely angelic. I absolutely love the shading on the back here with the wings and the rustic feel of it. And just like, it's not decrepit, but it's just, it's something else. To me, there's something elegant about just how the mech looks and elegant with how she looks. It's just, I can't ex put in the words with how good she looks. And I absolutely love the cute little moogles you could put on the base and just they're sitting there with their cute little swords and their sides. And then this shot of her just reaching out is absolutely gorgeous. I think she's super angelic, super beautiful. And this one I really, really want to have. But sadly, the price on this is really up there and I don't think I'll be able to get this anytime soon. I mean, maybe in the future, but I highly doubt it. But because you only make a limited number of these. But I could not pass this up and not to not put in a video at least because to me, as I said, this is one of the best statues that Prime has put on the table in my opinion. This statue goes for ten thousand dollars with retail without shipping. So this is completely out of my budget. But maybe one day if anything happens, I can get my hands on it. But we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna keep going to the next video. Next up, guys, we have a really hyped up statue that a lot of people were not expecting to happen, but it did happen. As you can kind of already see here, there's a wall. You can kind of guess where that's from, but I'm just going to say it. We have a 1-6 scale Attack on Titan Masterline statue with Armin, Aaron, and Mikasa. These guys look absolutely badass as hell. I am so excited about this one. This was one that caught me off guard when they announced it a little while back, and I really, really wanted it. I loved how the the tie was coming out to grab them. It looked like that. And then we have on the side, uh, Aaron's like Titan form in stone. It's so cool. The detail to their gears, to the walls, the base, the Titan coming out to grab or trying to grab Armin or Aaron, I mean. There's just so much going on. Going on. The wall, Maria, like Rose, there's so much. And it's so, so badass. And I can't wait for this one. I'm hoping the price range for this statue will be close to the Book of No Hero one that they released a little while ago. And I just cannot wait. I hope this will be around that price range because I really, really want this one. And I hope it gives me enough time to save because just look, it's just too good to pass up. Next, we have a piece that I am so ecstatic to get. I cannot wait for this. I have to get something from this franchise. As you can already tell, it is Berserk as the logo a brand of Sacrifice is already there. This one-third Masterline Museum scale is the best thing that I will have in my collection, hands down, because I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Berserk. Berserk is like the best manga that I've ever read. One of my top 10. It's the best animes. Of course, we're not going to talk about the 2017, but it's just these pieces that Prime One always put out are fantastic. Just there's so much going on. We have like him in his Berserk uniform or uniform, his armor. And it's just the skull, the the helmet is just so good. I honestly like it without the helmet because I just want to see Guts' face and the brand of Sacrifice. It's just everything is so good and it's just so much money. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I really want this. I have to get something in Berserk. If I can't say I'm a huge fan of Berserk and not have at least a figure. This will be the one and only figure that I will get from Berserk and I will not regret it. 
Next up, we have some Jujutsu Kaisen scales. These ones are not as big as the previous ones, so this is not a one fourth or a one third. This is a one sixth scale. And um, these ones are really interesting. I was kind of surprised when they announced these. I wasn't too sure about it because I failed to find a really good Yuji scale. So this one really caught my eye when they announced it because I'm a huge Jujutsu Kaisen fan. I love Itadori. And Sukuna is really cool too. But I really love the fact that you can have their bases connect and have Yuji look behind and see Sukuna sitting there. The detail on Sukuna is so good. I love the robe and the tattoos like on his face and wrist and the base of the skulls is just so cool and then i love the bottom of the base if you saw earlier um it's the blood like you know when yuji goes into that realm and then that sakuna is where he's you know his throne where he sits i love that extra detail they put so it really kind of puts these figures in that perspective and i really really love like the bones and the skulls and everything so i'm gonna see about this one i'm gonna wait on the price so maybe i'll get it if it's justified i'll get it if not i'll pass it but for now i'm really interested when this figure actually got announced i caught my eye but now i'm not so sure on it but i wanted to add it to the list because my mind could change on it because she does come with another girl this is from No Game No Life. This is a 1-7 scale, I believe, by Prism Wing. This one looks absolutely beautiful. I love the color and shading of her hair and just the base itself, the chest pieces and the floating cubes and the uh, circles, the transparent like circles behind her. It really gives a futuristic, well, like, yeah, a really futuristic tone. And I love the sculpt of the android parts showing on the side of her body. The wings, the, like, the little cubes on her hair. Like There's a lot going on here. And I really, really am loving everything going on. I have not watched No Game No Life. And I've, you guys have seen, I've ordered tons of No Game No Life stuff. And a lot of people are hinting or at least wanting a season two. Cause, but it's been a few years. It's been quite a while. So I'm hoping with all these figures selling that they will maybe use that money to maybe make another anime. But this scale looks really beautiful. Did this live stream a little while ago announcing some new anime statues they plan on making. First, we have Yuru Camp from season two. I cannot wait for this. I'm hoping it's Nadeshiko because she is my best girl. And then we have another really big announcement for a lot of you Overlord fans. They plan on making uh, another statue or figurine of, I'm going to assume it's everyone's wife, everyone's main girl. And I cannot wait. I'm not a huge Overlord fan, but depending on how she looks, I can't remember her name, but she is really cute, really adorable. And I'm going to see how it turns out because I'm not really too sure on it. Then we have Konosuba. Yes, I'm excited for this because season three just got announced. I don't know when it's going to air. Probably next year, knowing, knowing how long it takes for anime to be done because it's going to be a different studio, of course. But Darkness is my favorite girl. I, uh, let me know in the comments who your guys' favorite character is. But to me, Darkness is hilarious. I absolutely love her. I'm hoping it's a statue of her. But it's probably going to be Aqua. So we'll see. Aqua, I think, I don't know who's most popular. I feel like Aqua, Aqua is the most popular. Then we have a certain scientific railgun. I have not seen the railgun series. But I have watched Index with Toma and Index and uh accelerator and some other stuff so that one i might skip out on but we'll see depending on the character they make there then we have this one which i'm most excited for besides judo camp is made in abyss made in abyss i again i have not seen but i did fall in love with nana cheese nendroy she is super adorable absolutely love it um i need to finish watching this series i've seen only bits and pieces here but I'm hoping it's not a Chi they make a figure because she's my favorite. But I think they're going to go this based off of season two, though. Because season two got announced and it will be coming out this fall, I believe. So I'm going to probably watch season one before that and then head to that. Next, we have Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie. This anime, I have no idea what really is about. Not too much, at least. And my fiance really recommended this anime to me. And it's really surprising to see they're going to get a statue already. So I hope more companies make statues of the main girl. She's super pretty in my opinion. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. They only announced six so far, but there's going to be a whole bunch of more announcements. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see an anime figure of by Prism Wing. There's tons and tons I could think of. I would like to see maybe Fire Force or some other animes. But yeah, let me know in the comments. We're going to keep moving on. Next, we have a 1-7 scale from Guilty Gear Strive, Ramethel Valentine. She's my absolute favorite girl out of the whole franchise. I am getting her scale. Do not care the price or date. She will be mine. 
Next, we have this amazing fake grand order skull. I really want this. I'm really hoping he does not have a ridiculous price because if it's not, I'm buying him. Do not care when. I really want this one. Then we have this Hatsune Miku. I'm not too sure if I'm going to get this because it depends on how her, the paint job looks. But I absolutely love the base and I love how she's like on her throne. It's just amazing. Then we have this Milam from the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Absolutely fantastic. To me, this is the best Milam there is. And this one, I've, depending on the price, I might get it because this is the only one I want. Then we have this Car Captor Sakura, which is absolutely fantastic. I actually did buy the Good Smile version of this, but ended up selling it. And I might buy this one instead because this is just way better, in my opinion. Then we have this original character designing. I love the sci fi Tokyo theme with the android aesthetic it's just super pleasing to me and i really want this one as well this statue is absolutely the best one i will ever have in my entire collection yes i pre-ordered this statue i have a down payment on it and i cannot wait to get it this is nikaido and kaimon one fourth scale master line from prime one studio this is the best piece of art i have or will have in my collection out of everything i've been like buying pre-ordering everything like this is the best thing i've ever got and this i don't even know where i'm gonna put this this is just a fantastic piece it has so many interchangeable pieces where we can see we have kaimon smiling then we have nikaido and kama wearing their masks it's just so cool and we have their weapons and their uh, their knives and the, the gyoza there's just so much and then we have gyoza fairy standing on the base if you guys have seen dodo he dodo and you guys can pick up on all the hints on the base. If you have not seen Toda Hidoto, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's a fantastic show. But this statue is going to cost me a little over $2,000. And I cannot wait to get it. If you guys have a... a if you guys want to see this unboxing, please stay tuned with my channel. Because I cannot wait to get this. And like I said, it's going to be the best thing ever. That's really all the statues we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.